everyone, it's Savannah and welcome back to my channel. So it's been a little bit, um, a lot has gone on in the few months I haven't posted, but uh, I'm here to tell you about one specific kind of big, I, I wouldn't say really funny because it kind of cost me a lot of money. Um, but so basically, uh, let me get straight to the point, I, I kind of got a speeding ticket. What? You're like, Oh, what? Yeah, I kind of got my license. It was right before my year mark of having my license and I got pulled over January 1st. Yeah, happy new year. And so um, basically, here, actually let me set the scene for you. So I'm driving my car, right? I'm driving my car, the radio's up. Of course you can't drive without a radio, that's weird. So I'm driving, cause I'm driving home from dropping off my friend. I'm driving, I'm driving, and it's a 35. I am doing 55. Shouldn't have been doing 55, but I was doing 55 miles an hour. And all of a sudden, a, a, a car passes me. I thought nothing of it. And then I saw sheriff, or I saw police on the side of the car when it passed me. And I immediately hit my brake. I was like, no, I'm screwed. The cop, I saw in my review mirror, he like completely braked flipped a Yui and turned on his lights and sped down to get me. I was like, no. So I call my dad. I'm like, dad, I got pulled over. He's like, what? So I got pulled over. We came to the window. Um, basically, I kind of already knew I was screwed, but I didn't know if the police officer knew that. But the first thing he said was, ma'am, why are you doing 55 and a 35? I was like, oh. Oh no, he, he got me, he got me. I was like, how'd he know he was going the opposite way as me? He's like, yeah, I had you on radar. I was like, oh, I'm screwed. So at that point, I'm kind of in tears because I'm like, I'm going to get a fat ticket. My dad's going to be mad at me because of course it's a ticket. And um, basically, I just kind of cooperated. He was like, everything's going to be okay. But here's your ticket. Congratulations. And then I looked at the court date. It's my mom's birthday. I was like, oh, come on, dude. Can this get any worse? January 1st, first day of the year. It's like 10 p.m. at night, and you pull me over in a Mini Cooper. I don't know. So I didn't really kind of, I didn't argue it because I already knew I was screwed. Um, but then I had to wait until April 8th to go for my court date, and I kind of practiced a little bit what I was going to say. Um, so basically, it took us a little bit to find the courtroom because it was kind of in like a little city area. Um, and so once we did find the courtroom, they have, when you walk in, they actually have metal detectors. So you have to go through metal detectors. There's a bunch of police there because it's a courtroom. Um, and I thought, oh, there's going to be people doing like all kinds of like drugs and stuff are going to be here. But it was actually just super normal, super casual. Everyone was really nice. Um, and so I got to the courtroom. There were a bunch of like benches, kind of like, uh, you know, like a church is. There's a bunch of benches. So I, we, me and my dad, my dad went with me and we sat in a bench. I had my ticket in my hand and, um, we waited for our turn. And when I went up, there were about, I would say five court people. So I didn't have to talk in front of anybody, just that one, uh, judge. Um, so don't be nervous about talking in front of people because you don't have to, you only have to talk to one person. So you really don't have to go to court. You can just take the points on your license, pay the ticket and let it be over with. But I was like, well, I mean, it's worth a shot. Sometimes they'll like take the points off or sometimes you can get a little bit of money off. My goal was walking in there was the points first getting off and then some of that money off. It was so expensive. It was a $300 ticket. But basically when I walked up to the guy, I actually didn't say anything really. He kind of just was like, so. What was, what did, were you in for? I was like a speeding ticket. He's like, did you have a speeding ticket before? I was like, no, I didn't have a speeding ticket before. And he goes, okay, so here's what we're going to do. Like, I didn't even really get to tell him like, oh, I have a job. I have to make four weeks up of this. He was like, it's going to be a non-moving violation, which means I kind of just parked in a handicapped parking spot, basically. So I get a fine. But. One problem is it made my fine more expensive because it's a non-moving violation. So he was like, here you go, sign this. I signed something and then I gave it to the authority judge, which checks to make sure everything was good. And then I went and paid the ticket and walked out. So there are no points on my license, but I had to pay $300. So here's my Venmo. Anything helps, even $1 helps. Um, but any help is literally thank you. So that's basically it guys. Um, this is kind of a 
GoFundMe for YouTube just to help me out a little bit. It was really a lot of money and I don't have a lot of money as a 17 year old. Um, so that's really it guys. Thank you for joining me. I just wanted to give you my story so you guys kind of know what was going on if you get a speeding ticket. My advice for this, um, I mean, <laughs> there's really not much you can do. When, once you get pulled over, maybe try and fight it a little bit when you're getting pulled over. So then, because once the ticket's already handed out to you, you're you're kind of already screwed. Um, but just also, actually, you know, here's my tip. Don't speed. Don't speed. You can't get a speeding ticket. There, there's literally no way. A absolutely no way unless you have a taillight out. But that's really not my, that's not what we're discussing here. But either way, thank you guys for joining me today. Um, again, my Venmo. <laughs> so we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Don't speed, kids. If I may, if I may.